Hey everybody, it's Lisa Morton here with this week's Ghost Report. In a few days, I will be headed to San Diego for a gathering of horror writers, but I will also be checking out some local hauntings. Of course, the Whaley House will be at the top of my list, but it's far from the only haunted venue in California's sunniest coastal city. Everyone knows about the Hotel Del Coronado, but did you know the USS Midway, which is permanently docked in San Diego, is not only supposedly haunted, but has a museum curated by a paranormal expert? That expert is David Hansen, and he has some interesting theories about what is happening on board the Midway. First, you should know that the Midway was built just after the end of World War II and for a while was the largest aircraft carrier in the world. It was decommissioned in 1992 and has served as a major tourist attraction ever since. Visitors often report paranormal activity, and David Hansen tries to document every account. He believes that the spirits aboard the Midway didn't die on the ship, but loved it so much they returned after death. He also believes there are non-human residual hauntings, which he describes as energy patterns. Hansen also thinks there are visitors just passing through in both ghostly and human form. He has an EVP in which a spirit asks, what is the name of this ship? Although the Midway doesn't currently allow official paranormal investigations, those who have visited the ship as part of its regular tours have claimed there are as many as 30 different spirits aboard, with much of the activities centered around the sick bay. The Midway is full of realistic mannequins dressed as ship's crew, so you might expect that the most common report of activity is seeing the mannequins move, although shadow figure sightings have also been reported. Next week, I will be back with my own direct report from the Whaley House, so I hope you will join me. Until then, this is Lisa saying over and out. <laughs>